In today's Service 7, let's talk about social media. It is everywhere these days, including healthcare. Studies show 9 out of 10 people use social media to find or share health related information, and some even rely on it to make their healthcare decisions. As a health professional, you should be aware of the positives and the pitfalls. Here are seven do's and don'ts of social media. Number one, don't take it lightly. Just one negative post about work can damage the trust that patients have in your practice and put your job or even your career at risk. You should always assume your accounts are public despite whatever privacy settings you have in place. Next at number two, patients are off limits. With strict HIPAA and patient confidentiality guidelines, even a get well wish to a patient may be a violation. Pictures of patients, even with their consent, cause major issues, even on a personal, private account. Intent does not matter. Giving any info at all about the patient may violate privacy laws and lead to getting fired or even worse. Three, leave politics out of it. Your company may feel that your political or social commentary may indirectly harm its reputation. In most cases, you are not protected by the First Amendment and your employer is generally free to impose disciplinary action as they see fit. Next up, don't mix work and play. Avoid posting to your accounts from work or from your employer's internet connection. Learn and follow your company's social media policies. They're there for a reason. On the plus side at number five, gain valuable insight. Pay attention to online reviews of your physician and your office, which three out of four patients will review when finding a new doctor. Consider Googling your physician's name monthly and setting up Google alerts. This will help you learn how patients evaluate the practice's strengths and potential weaknesses. Sixth, participate in professional positivity. Follow other professionals you admire and take part in online professional communities to enrich your own career. You may even get new ideas to help your patients. And finally, get the word out. Since social media is used so widely, it's a great opportunity for your organization to set up communications programs for patients. They can be especially valuable to provide real-time information during a crisis. It's also a chance to provide engaging, useful material about things like immunizations and healthy lifestyles. That wraps up this edition of Service 7. Give these tips a try to steer clear of social media mistakes and benefit from a more engaged patient population.